No! What the hell? How does he only get me? Okay, well, at least I know how to get out of here. Now, the real nice thing would be if we could get an 05, though, to kill him. But of course I can't get an 05 to kill him. Alright, uh, ceiling. Went to these two ways. He already took that way, so I just go this way. Easy. Easy as that. Easy as that! Alright, listen up. You guys keep asking me, how do you escape from SCP-106s? So I'm drawing a pattern on the ceiling for you guys. Right here is the curve that I want you to realize. You need that curve, because that is the one that points you to the way out. That curve points you to two pathways that have an 80% chance of getting you out. You want to go through the whichever one is clear. If both are clear, then you just want to take your risk of left or right. Usually left is the one that gets you out. Now, the pathways do change every time someone does escape, so this only works the first time someone is escaping through this strategy. So again, here's the curve. It points to the in-between of these two pathways. So I just have to go through one of these two pathways. Pathways. Once I look in there, and there's a dead body in the one on the right, I know, hey, the one on the right is death, and the one on the left must be the freedom pathway. And so I just walked right out of there, and that's how I got out. 